Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. As you can see today, we are on Wall Street Bets. We are going to be talking about the stock market and obviously the hottest thing going around really all the internet, all different kinds of social media, but even making it out into the real world into like the general public, the general media uh, is Wall Street Bets, GameStop and what is going on with this whole scenario and whole fiasco. There are so many people making thousands, tens of thousands, hundred thousand, even millions of dollars in certain cases right now. Uh, but the biggest thing here is that, you know, you really haven't made anything or lost anything until you've sold so while yes uh people are saying and claiming all different kinds of crazy numbers right now things are moving all over the place and this story uh does not have an ending yet i mean as a lot of people are saying we are really living through history in a lot of ways this is kind of a once in a lifetime historical event uh and it's been absolutely insane again everyone who's anyone is talking about this stuff on social media um people who have never uh even heard of reddit wall street bets or the stock market or even anything in general are hearing about what's going on with gamestop right now and that's what we're going to be talking about in this video today i know the stocks stock market and stocks and investing and stuff it's not my usual thing but i have made a couple videos about it in the past it is something that i really really do like to talk about and i think is very very interesting and i really hope to do more content for it in the future um so definitely if you aren't already subscribed click that subscribe button really quick it's fast it's free it's easy helps you guys stay up to date on all my latest content um so you can keep up with you know any kind of these videos that i make in the future also dropping a like if you do enjoy this kind of content helps me out a ton with the youtube algorithm but also knowing that you know maybe you guys would be interested in seeing some more stuff like this um because obviously this gamestop stuff's only gonna happen every once in a while but there's always a new story and there's always uh, money to be made out there always things to talk about um also uh, you know i'm not a financial advisor I'm not making any recommendations or anything in this video just kind of documenting what's been going on i'm not saying you should go out and buy gamestop or you know bet your life savings on it or anything like that i'm um, just kind of uh talking about the entertaining stuff that has been going on because it has been absolutely that so again um right now taking a look at gamestop stock this is what everyone's talking about this is uh kind of the craziness that we're going through right now you can see uh it closed at a hundred and ninety three dollars and sixty cents um but even after hours it has moved all the way up to around three hundred and twelve uh dollars so it is moving all over the place the percentages the numbers are absolutely insane really none of it makes any sense but it, it is absolutely hilarious to follow and again people are making and losing so much money i mean just even look at this um stuff has gone all the way from four hundred sixty nine dollars all the way down to a hundred and twenty six dollars and that was in the matter uh, of just a couple of hours so this stuff is moving all over the place this stuff is absolutely crazy uh and again people who are have never previously invested in the stock market people have never shown any interest in it before or all of a sudden getting excited getting into the stuff um but honestly people are really pissed off today as well because uh you know earlier today uh throughout this whole thing the short sellers the the huge institutional hedge funds guys with billions of dollars in the market are losing all kinds of money as uh you know the reddit and twitter and social media army and just the general public kind of raises up and, and is trying to save gamestop and pump up the stock and and get it running and get it exploded and everyone's making all this money to burn the short sellers and and burn the big guys well, you know, obviously those are very, very rich and powerful people who have a lot of tricks up their sleeves. They, uh, you know, called in some some uh, favors from the their buddies over at Robinhood, and they said, in light of the current market volatility, we are restricting transactions for certain securities to positions uh, closing only, including AMC and GME. There are some other ones, Nokia, BlackBerry, all different kinds of stocks um, that you couldn't buy all of a sudden, but you could sell. Uh, you know, it's like, hey, you guys want to sell it and start bringing down the price? That's fine, but you can't buy it. Um, now, this is is uh, where we did see kind of this big drop uh, all the way down to 126 where people didn't know what was going on were we going to be able to buy it was it going to get frozen uh, you know there's just a lot of uncertainty and doubt um, and just overall negativity in the market and obviously that uh, got things moving down but then we saw you know certain exchanges weren't restricting it certain exchanges were saying no we're going to keep everything free and moving and whatever happens happens and then other countries you were still able to purchase GameStop and everything um, so that's why we started seeing all these different bounces and it's just moving all over the place right now is obviously there is a people pulling this thing in a million different directions obviously there's the people who want to stick it to the short sellers who want to stick it to the institution sticking it to the man everyone's saying oh i just threw in five thousand dollars ten thousand dollars i don't even care about gamestop this is about sending a message then there's the people who are just trying to make a quick buck. You know, they see a ton of momentum. They want to get involved. Um, people who just want to have some money in it to have some skin in the game to make it more entertaining to follow. Um, then there's people who've been holding for a while. You know, people got this stock at like 10, 20, 30 bucks and are just, you know, along for the ride, um, seeing how much money they can make. But obviously everyone has been absolutely glued to their phones, to their uh, screens, everything, seeing what exactly is going to play out this whole situation. And again, this got people really, really upset. There, there's people calling for class action lawsuits, people calling for SEC investigations uh people questioning the legality of even being able to do this um you know robin hood has come out and since said that um starting tomorrow or when, when this video comes out it might be today which is going to be january 29th um i believe saying 
that they are going to resume uh, light trading for some of these uh, stocks. I'm not sure exactly what that is going to mean, uh, but that should be interesting to see how that all plays out. And uh, again, this could go any number of ways because at the end of the day, GameStop is completely overvalued. It is not worth this. I think uh, at times it's been valued around $25 billion or something like that. Um, and yes, they are doing some new different things. Maybe they're getting into, uh, you know, online sh uh, shopping and stuff a little bit more. Maybe they will be able to, to save uh, the, the business somewhat. And, you know, they fought off bankruptcy and that's amazing and everything. But uh, again, it, it definitely seems to be very, very overvalued. So uh, it's not even, and a lot of the people know that who are getting into GameStop as well. And it's not even a matter of uh, if it's going to crash, but when it's going to crash, how much it's going to crash and who's going to get burnt. Cause again, even though people are saying, Oh, I'm making so much money on GameStop right now. You know, I got in at a hundred and it's 300, it's 400. I got in at 50 and it's, it's pushing 500. It's going to a thousand, whatever. Um, even if it does, you know, crash up or whatever, flash up to whatever crazy number and you're thinking you're making all this money most likely eventually this stock is going to come crashing down and it's going to be uh quick and it's going to be ugly and a lot of people are going to end up getting burnt even though right now it's kind of this feel-good story uh, you know the little guy making all this money you do have to be careful because again are people actually really making that money? Who's going to get out on top? Who's going to get out in time? Uh, and as you can see, they have all kind of dirty tricks and stuff up their sleeves um, and all kind of favors uh, available to them. Because again, these are very, very rich and very, very powerful people um, that everyone is playing against. But one of the more interesting stories has been uh, following deep effing value dfv i'm not sure what i can say to not get demonetized um uh, but uh you know his saga of this is a guy who i believe started investing in gamestop in 2019 fifty thousand dollars um and now as of january 28th 2021 um we can see here that his total investment if we click on this uh get zoomed in a little bit too far um is uh right around 33 million dollars he has turned fifty thousand dollars into thirty three million uh the percent gain uh is what two thousand percent gain something absolutely insane uh i know yesterday he was up to like 40 he was pushing like 50 million dollars yesterday obviously the market has since come down a little bit today um but there's so many people you know the the big line is that uh if he's still in i'm still in people are saying uh that he is holding he is holding strong so that's inspiring them to hold strong because yeah there's a lot of people with a couple thousand dollars invested in this even some people tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars, but you know, this guy, DFV, the God of Wall Street bets right now, has millions of dollars on the line. His account is moving up tens of millions a day, down tens of millions a day. Uh, and he's, you know, constantly giving us these updates, uh, letting us know that he is holding strong and kind of just trying to inspire other people. I mean, he's not really even trying to inspire other people, but he's just showing other people um, that, you know, he's legit in this. He's along for the ride. Um, and, you know, people are really getting behind him, obviously, uh, saying that they have diamond hands, saying that they're holding strong, um, saying that, you know, no matter what uh, kind of tricks and stuff that everyone pulls out, uh, that, you know, they're going to keep going and they're going to ride this thing to the moon to a thousand, two thousand, five thousand, whatever crazy number um, people think it's going to get to. And, and yeah, it just has been absolutely insane. Again, as someone who really enjoys uh, the stock market and investing and all that stuff, uh, this has been good and bad in a lot of ways. It's been great because more people um, are learning about the stock market and getting involved than ever before. You know, I'm sure, uh, I mean, I know for a fact that so many people uh, that have never downloaded one of these apps, whether it's Robinhood or TD Ameritrade or Fidelity or whatever, are now downloading these apps, getting started, getting a taste of the stock market um and yes you do need to be a little bit uh, afraid and scared and wary and cautious that these people are you know running up insane numbers in an in, in, in an insane and risky volatile stock and everything right now and yes they're feeling the insane highs right now but it could all come crashing down any day now any second now you never know uh, and then they'll be tasting the lows as well and yeah they're getting that like gambler's rush that can be super super addicting um but you know you're constantly chasing that and that's not really something you want to be going after either because again at the end of the day the stock market is you know investing Investing in sound financials and, and companies that you really believe in and getting that slow consistent gains over time and that's what the history tells us and all that stuff um, and even though you know options trading and and GameStop and Blackberry and Nokia and all these things are getting so popular and crazy um, you know the, these things are, are fleeting and, and yes if you can make a quick buck hey more power to you I'm all about everyone you know being able to make all the money out there that they need that's you know one thing that I love and talk about on this channel um, whenever I can is you know ways to make money ways to go out and get it uh, you know we want to see people doing well but also you got to be realistic you got to be careful um you know I, I was in GameStop for a little bit I have since gotten out of it and that doesn't mean it's done obviously there is still more potential upside who knows what's going to happen uh tomorrow friday is going to be an absolutely insane day because it's uh the last day of the month it's the last day of the week there's going to be all kinds of different um plays uh that are finishing up and 
it's going to move all over the place. But again, uh, as it goes up more and more, they're burning these billionaires more and more and more. And they have more incentive to, to pull out all the stops as, as far as putting in regulations um, and, and just all these different things to potentially try and drive the price down to maybe save some face, to save their businesses, to save their funds, uh, and honestly, to save their wallets at the end of the day as well. Uh, and it's going to be absolutely crazy. But but yeah, I mean, again, anywhere you look right now, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook groups, Discord, Wall Street Bets getting banned on Discord, getting banned on Facebook, all different kinds of crazy stuff. They're trying everything they can to kind of shut down these people. Um, and it's making a lot of people upset. It's making a lot of people angry, you know, like uh, AOC is talking about this. I know um, Cruz was talking about this. We saw Donald Trump Jr. tweeting about it. Uh, you know, people are not upset because uh, there is the really funny tweet from uh, Robin Hood as well. It's like, let the people trade where, uh, you know, they were all about the free market and letting the little guy win. And, and that's the the irony of the whole situation obviously robin hood is stealing from the rich and giving to the poor and now you know they're they're doing quite the opposite which is pretty hilarious but pretty crazy obviously i mean it's hilarious but it's not because at the end of the day these are real businesses real companies real people um and real money on the line so you really don't want to see anybody get burned you don't want to see anything out there um so yeah i mean my word of caution would just be to be careful um obviously the big investing advice is you know never put in any more money than uh you can afford to lose or you'd be willing to lose um it's a lot of fun right now and obviously as the numbers are going up and you're having crazy gains and everything that's awesome but but just know uh, obviously uh, you know a lot of people do think that this company is overvalued and, and man uh just be careful because uh who knows what could happen but uh that is pretty much it for this video today guys obviously just want to give a little update on the situation talking about dfv talking about um all the craziness in the stock market right now because you know, these are, uh, these are things I don't get a chance to talk about a ton, but I do really enjoy it. And uh, like I said, I'd love to do more of it. Um, and this is really, uh, it's a historic event. So I want to get my thoughts and opinions on there on everything out there. Drop a like if you did enjoy this video. I would appreciate it so, so much. Leave a comment down below. What do you think about this whole situation? What are you doing? Are you holding GameStop? Are you buying more? Are you selling it off? Are you done? Are you getting out? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on anything we talked about in today's video. Subscribe to the latest content. Hopefully catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.